that happen. It's, it's a tall order, especially with how uh, Winner's Finals went. But I think he's going to pull something out. I think this is going to be a lot different than we saw in game uh, in the first set. Yeah, I can. He's definitely made some adaptations. As I mentioned, the first game was a wash, but he brought it back in game three. It was last hit, and he ended up getting too greedy on the edge guard. I think he figures something out in those games that he's going to be able to pull out here. Yeah, for sure. I think it was how the like, game three was in their set. I mean, there is some stuff going on in that head. Then we'll see what we got. This is definitely an interesting starter. I can, I mean, it's definitely one of the most, like, people say one of the more neutral stages for the most part. People love Jules Veil vale a lot, and I can see it not, like, being terrible for any character. Right. So, I think it's just, like, a, a genuine neutral starter. But I can definitely see, like, the benefit from character like Honan. Like we mentioned, I think it was the last set where uh, I think he got a little bit too greedy trying to like recover and use that top center, like oh, the platform yeah. up top as a recovery mix up because of how high Hodon's up he can go. So I think that might be another added benefit just like in certain niche situations. It doesn't come very often. What is it? Like every 30 seconds? 20 seconds? Yeah, it's like there at the 7 minute mark. Probably, yeah. Probably Makes sense seconds. for every 30 seconds. Somebody to keep account for, just like Randall on Yoshi's story. Mm -hmm. Like, if you know what's coming, then there's no Actually, reason to not. Maybe it is every 20. Let's see. Yeah. Because I know the, the Gates platform do that every 20. They'll flash a little yeah. bit, and then they'll separate. Yeah, it's I think it's 30. every 30. Good to know. Regardless, ZB is definitely very confident right now in this game, as soon as Giga takes a stock. Yeah. With that fair 30-second mark coming back around. Definitely be an added benefit, especially because it's out for, what, about 10 seconds? Just going mm -hmm. from side to side. That's I've definitely bit... had a few, like, big recovery saves just from using that platform, especially as Eliana. Um, Absolutely. Hodon can do the same thing, just be, like, mindful of how far it is, because I've also lost games to it just as many as I've saved. Oh, yeah, you can just barrel through the rock there. It's not even a threat. Yeah. Big challenge hitbox just deletes that rock. But yeah, he couldn't get that charge fair, so he just tries to go for the dare instead, hoping ZP will drift out a little bit. Yeah, ZP's gonna be hitting all of those techs. He's mm -hmm. he's hit those techs thousands of times before. He's no stranger to him. Yeah. And then missing one, of course, is just probably death for him, because he gets pulled out too far, and Giga can just get like a fair or another dare. Yeah, ZP is incredibly comfortable on the ledge. Yeah. And Giga's it's been them. challenging that to try and pressure him, but. I don't think it matters at this point. I think ZB's gonna be just hitting those techs consistently and yeah. he just hits him with a raw down B. Catches Giga slipping a little bit. Gonna need some other way to, to get around this right now. Yeah, really good reversal there. Doesn't need the instant tech narrow, but it's enough to catch him scooping. And then he just challenges that little monkey flip there. Mm -hmm. Doesn't tech it. Does definitely wasn't anticipating it. It's the first time ZB's thrown that out against Giga specifically. He was using a lot of those earlier in previous sets. Like against this set with Akashi. Some wacky DI right there, but not really able to kill. Yeah, ZB holds really far out. Giga tries to take advantage of that and go out a little bit, but he's not super comfortable with uh, the edge guard. Mm. A lot of nares trying to scoop. I think he wanted Giga to hold in, but he knows that he's going to get up smash on that center platform. Probably why he picked this stage, especially because he realizes ZB's his whole game plan is to get you towards center platforms or just some elevated height and then kill you off the top with it. And when you take a stage like this, that makes it a lot harder to get those kills, a larger top blast zone. Yeah, it can be really difficult. Like, he's getting up there at 150, and he's still not dying for it. His <laughs> game plan's definitely a little more difficult on this stage, but eventually it'll work. If eventually. You do the same thing. And I mean, that's what kind of we're seeing is like, ZB just keeps going for it, and Giga isn't really getting much else, you know? Like, that's just, ZB just keeps getting those nares. We got the um, Super Monkey Ball right there. The game isn't even. But there's ever a stock like that again where it's just ZB getting constant nares and constant follow ups. It's gonna be hard for uh, Giga to really do much. Really good catch there to put that down, being knowing Giga was gonna fast fall. Because if yeah. he didn't go there, he would have gone to the top platform, which he would have been prepared for with something like an up air or a fair, which he gets anyway. I like the idea of the Larry to break rock, but it just does not work out. ZB is too ready for you to land that yeah. vulnerably. Having that down B out yeah, just kind of puts that pressure with the Lariat, because, like, yeah, you can lay on top of it, but you're going to get hit by that spike. And then yeah. you go up, and then you get kicked. Or punched. 
Yeah, ZB's, I mean, Giga's been trying to pressure ZB at the ledge so much, but he just texts every single attempt. Incredible consistency on his part. Well, Krag may be vulnerable with a pretty linear recovery for the most part. If you don't optimize it, it's still really easy, hard to contest it when he's hitting every single tech. Yeah, and ZB just completely clean with all these kill confirms. Really, Logan just make this a 3-0 and a handshake right Incredible now. Incredible, the dominant performance. It's reminiscent just, of Winner's Finals. Mm -hmm. It's on Giga right now to stop that from happening, to at least put some points on the board. Yeah, and he just jumps right into triple. Yeah, the it, um, Pride more. It was last trusting. hit in the last set, but at the same time, the ZB's whole game plan has just been Nair to get you up with Nair hits 2 and 3, sometimes Nair 1, and just get you up top there, and then just up air or up smash. But I, can, I can't see why Giga or Hoidon might like this a lot. Giga just needs to, like, at least if he's going back to the stage, you know, again, last time, it was just his hubris that lost in that game, more or less. So... As long as he can kind of keep the strategies he's going for in check. Given that the stakes, the really, stakes really are clean high. Double fair off the side there. And yeah, again, just more standard stuff might be what he needs right now. Great parry there, knowing ZB is just going to F smash that landing. No attack. Those little things are going to keep him alive and just potentially bring this to another game, whether it's game three, I mean, game four, game five, or maybe even a reset. Yeah. Little adaptations like that make go a long way, especially when you're literally down 5-0 right now against this person at this tournament. Just Smash a little now. burrow on the the side B? Yeah. Oh no, this is Game still has his up special, which literally just contests rock and just nullifies it. Yeah. That pressure there isn't. It was a little bit high catching ZB doing that pillar. Yeah. Little Sweat Spirit to have a lingering hitbox. Gets the tech. Yeah, a lot of these Nair are just bringing him up. Because he can just tech out and then just instant Nair. And then it just will hit Giga and bring him up, making his recovery safer because he doesn't have that threat to worry about. And Giga has been doing a lot of these parries, knowing ZB's up smash habits. Because he's, he's going to be chucking those out pretty, pretty often. Right. Not going to get hit by that, but... Let's see. Ooh, down bad DI on that down be fair. Mm -hmm. We're trying to go for an up smash scoop, but ZB immediately drops through the platform. Here we go. The, the jab and down something. Oh, oh, what a way to end this tournament with the the lingering the the ceiling tech there. Yeah, and they're hugging it out. If you don't hit out. that, you just you just die. You're they, so much hits done. Mm -hmm. They're kind of acknowledging, like, all right, it's goofy, but those are still some good games. Yeah, ZB taking taps five, commanding from winners. I think he only dropped like two games, one to Koda and one to Akashi. I think that was, yeah, that was yeah. 